Hi guys, this is a video on Windows software and Windows games. Now, I want to show you a game that I've discovered called Project Talk. It's a really good game. It's quite a big game to download though. I think it's like 600 meg and then you've got 200 meg of updates on top of that and then another uh, 20 or 30 for the uh, sort of t uh, anti-hack uh, system they put on there. Um, but anyway, I want to show you this Project Talk. It's got quite good graphics, but uh, Cam Studio isn't very good for recording games. And um, what I want to do is basically keep the same codec, keep the uh, the frame rate dimensions and all that the same, and uh, just upload it straight to YouTube. Now it wasn't as easy as I thought because um, there's quite a lot of commercial software out there uh, um, that allow you to do it, but I was trying to find one that was free. Now I have found some, but they have got limitations to them, so I, there isn't one that works great for everything and is completely free. So I'm just going to show you the ones I've found. Now, the first one is called Taxi. Now, this is quite good. It, basically, you double click it, and this has to be blue. Um, first, you go into the config, and then you set where you're going to save the file, and uh, you can change the format. I think this starts at like 5 FPS, but I changed it to uh, 30. And then the DivX codec, which is what I'm using currently for my uh, screen recorder to make the file smaller. That the screen recordings I do turn out about 10 or 20 megabytes. So. Um, audio input devices line in. Now, when I when you select this, um, or oh, if I select something else, it says to do. Audio doesn't actually work yet, so you can't actually get the audio in your games, which is a problem. So um, that is Taxi. Um, it basically, you see this little indicator. It will put the put it inside your game, and then I think you uh, once you've configured the key to um, start the recording, which is F6. Oh, it looks a bit stuffing with um, F8. But yeah, uh, it will put a little dot there. If not, you might have to switch out of the game and come back into here and press record. But um, usually it will put the indicator in and it works for Project Talk. And um, yeah, that's what you do. Uh, but it doesn't record sound, unfortunately. But it does record forever, so that's okay. Uh, next up is Game Cam. does exactly the same thing. This time it puts a window inside your game and you can have like a preview of what you're recording. Uh, if I double click it, uh, oh, Game Cam's already loaded. Here we go. Um, you haven't got any options in Windows, it, it does it all in game, it opens like a window in game and you can change all the options but a lot of things force you, it pretends that it can record the uh, the audio but then it says please upgrade to the full version because this is the free version So um, the next one is Fraps, now the latest version of Fraps lets you record for 30 seconds uh, which is a bit crappy and it has video as well, uh, sorry audio as well but um, Fraps 1.9D, which I'll provide the link in the description, this can record forever. However, don't get too excited because this doesn't record um, audio either, so it just does the video. But you do get that little counter in the corner, the top left corner, which tells you your FPS. And also with Fraps, I didn't like Fraps because even the new version and this version, you can't really change the codecs you use to record your videos. So um, you, I ended up with a 600, 700 megabyte file uh, sitting on my desktop, which I'd then have to convert to put up to YouTube. So that is Fraps 1.9D. It might be worth getting these, because you'll notice that a lot of people who do game, um, game things, they always put music in the background. So it might be worth getting these anyway, just to record your video and then adding like a music track to your, um, to your video. So this is the Fraps earlier version. The new one does 30 seconds. And um, the last one, um, I am actually going to use um, after I've um, finished talking. It's called uh, ZD Soft Game Recorder. Now, unfortunately, this isn't free, which is I might have to go and buy this because it's quite a good, um, quite a good recorder. So um, I said the issue with Fraps was that uh, it didn't it recorded to AVI and then it had a huge file. Now with ZD Z Z D Soft or um, Z ZD Soft, whichever. Um, uh, oh, it looks like Game Cam or something's already uh, done the F9. Don't worry, that it will work. <laughs> but um, with the ZD Soft, um, obviously don't download all of these at the same time because um, they'll have conflict issues if they've registered the keys to them. Anyway, um, ZD Soft that isn't free. Uh, you can record this for a minute, and uh, it does the sound as well, and it does your video, and also it does the same codecs as my uh, Cam Studio does. So I can say DivX codec, and then Abby. Now another thing with the ZD Soft is that it puts a watermark in the corner, so it says zdsoft.com or something like that. And uh, you can also change the size. Now I put the custom size to 320-240 because that is what I'm recording here. You'll notice 320-240. It's the default size on YouTube uh, for videos. Now, um, so I've recorded 320 by 240, and Control and F9 is what I'm, I'm going to use for the recorder. And you can change the FPS, but I'm going to leave this at 20 to show you. 
and uh, start start stop the recording. So I, obviously I'm gonna have to change this because my other ones, um, my other programs registered itself as F9. So I'm just gonna say 12 F12 for my recordings. Uh, audio it records the audio and it defaulted itself to my actual um, to my uh, line in and my recording. So I didn't need to bother doing it myself. And it does actually record it along with the video, and you can add attributes and screenshots, blah blah blah. And as you'll notice, it says there is a trial version of blah blah blah. You get no recording length limitations if you registered to the full version, no watermark, and lifetime free upgrades, blah blah blah. So um, I think this is worth getting purely for the fact of the options that you get. You can resize it automatically and have the uh, the codex, so then it will do a decent enough size to upload to YouTube. But uh, unfortunately, it's not free. But also, another thing with this, which I didn't say, is that it does exactly the same thing as Fraps, and it puts a, uh, a counter in the corner of your FPS, but this time it's green instead of yellow, so yeah, that's it. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you Project Talk. Uh, I won't be talking over it, because it'll be recording the sound from the, uh, from the actual game. Um, all I'm going to do is do a practice mode, and you can see the graphics on it. You might want to try it out. It's quite a good game. It's basically an online game that you can play when you race other people, but I'm just going to be doing the practice mode to show you the um, show you the graphics on it. So um, I'm going to use ZSoft uh, Game Recorder, and uh, it will show you the game. So uh, these are three things you may want to check out, but they don't do sound, uh, which is a, a bit of an issue. But if you want to try them out anyway, then have a go. And ZSoft does do sound, um, but it's not free, so. Um, you could always uh, record them and then record your sound with Audacity or something um, and then try and mix them together but that's, that, that takes more time so anyway um, I'll now be playing a Project Talk uh, you won't hear me speaking because I'll be recording it directly from ZSoft so uh, I'll say in advance thanks for watching my video it will cut out after a minute on this on Project Talk but um, thanks for watching my video please comment, rate, subscribe if you like my videos and thanks again